we want to simplify the given statements so the negation only appears right before variables and we're asked to choose the correct matching statement in each case. For part A, we have the negation of the implication if P, then not Q. Looking at our notes on the right, the negation of the implication if P, then Q is logically equivalent to P and not Q. This indicates the negation of the implication if P, then not Q is logically equivalent to P and the double negation of Q. From here we can simplify the double negation of Q. The double negation of Q is logically equivalent to Q, giving us the simplified statement of P and Q, which we can see is the second choice. For part B we have the implication if not P or not Q, then the negation of not Q and R. Let's first write the implication as a disjunction. Looking at our notes again, if P then Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. This indicates the given implication is logically equivalent to the negation of not P or not Q or the negation of not Q and R. And now we'll apply De Morgan's law Applying De Morgan's law on the left, the negation passes through the parentheses and applies to the negation of P, which gives us a double negation of P. The or changes to and, and we negate the negation of Q, which gives us a double negation of Q. Applying De Morgan's law on the right, again the negation passes through the parentheses, which gives us a double negation of Q. The and changes to or, and we negate R. And now we simplify the double negations, which gives us P and Q, or Q, or not R. Looking at our choices, once again, this is the second choice. Let's take a look at one more. Here we have the negation of if P then not Q, or the negation of R and not R. Notice the negation is outside the outermost parentheses, and therefore we'll apply De Morgan's law to the given statement. Again, the negation passes through the first set of parentheses, and applies to the implication if P then not Q, the or changes to and, and we negate the negation of R and not R. Next we'll take the negation of the implication if P then not Q, which gives us P and the double negation of Q. And finally for our last step, we'll simplify the double negations, which gives us P and Q and R and not R. Looking at our choices, this is the third choice. I hope you found this helpful.